Ridley is gone. Along with a couple of other characters too. The casualties definitely don't end with him. Mewtwo, Lucas, Snake, Ivysaur, Squirtle, uh, just to name a few. Ice Climbers. There are so many characters that were taken out of Smash Brothers and characters that were requested were not put in. And then characters that people didn't necessarily care too much about like Dr. Mario and Dark Pit. It makes you wonder exactly what the deal was when Daddy Sakurai was thinking about the roster. And yes, he's still my daddy. You know? This is, some, this is very interesting, you know, like, you, you really can never know where things are going because as much evidence as either side had, none really knew for a fact what would be the case, and yet it turns out Ridley wasn't going to be in the game, Mewtwo wasn't going to be in the game, even though they were highly requested characters, Ridley being probably the most requested Smash Brothers character in this entire franchise, maybe. I'm making a very broad statement there. However, now there's some recent... Um, there are some recent proceedings that show that there may just be a chance for Ridley and it, it kind of falls down to the Wii U version. Now some of you guys know the Wii U has not gotten any release date yet, it hasn't been talked about that much at all, not much of it has really been shown in detail, and on top of everything else, everyone's saying that the Wii U version is supposed to be the better version, it's going to have more content, so a lot of people are saying, oh you know, Ridley could potentially be there, and as much as I want to go along with that chain of thinking, after having my dreams stomped out that night, that night where I did that 14 hour live stream on YouTube, I don't know man, I just don't know. I want to believe, you know I do. You know me on top of, me, if, you, if, you don't, if you're unsure of anyone's feelings about Ridley, you know that myself, I probably have the most feels when it comes to the entire thing, but I just don't know man. I mean, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about though, because there's a lot of, there's a lot, there's somewhat um, compelling evidence, extremely compelling evidence, that the um, Wii U version is going to bring DLC to the 3DS, or there'll be 3DS DLC in general. Now, I'm not, and, I'm, and once again, guys, I'm not just saying that because, oh, you know, there's a chance. No, there's actually some compelling evidence. Let's go to Reddit, our best friend for the last few days. Reddit here has a post which has gotten 131 thumbs up, um, upvotes, and still, go, and still going, still counting. We're gonna read through this right now, and this will show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. And don't worry, this is sourced um, this is a, this is this is quoted. This is actually legitimate information. So, after poking around with the ROM in order to get it to work, yes, the ROM is in the wild now. Do not ask about that. We learned that the Smash 4 ROM requires at least two gigabytes of free space on the SD card in order to load properly. There may be some weird technical details behind that logic, but it's possible that the black screen when this condition is not met is due to some kind of space check, and the failsafe involved crashes the system due to the fact that it's being run from a gateway. A gateway 3DS is a Nintendo 3DS flash card. That said, this suggests that in my opinion, Nintendo would really prefer if you had a lot of free space on your SD card for future updates towards the game. Most content patches do not take that large amount of data, but adding in legitimate full content such as characters and stages are much more likely to fill that space up. So basically what he's saying here is that if it was just, you know, stuff for patches and, you know, small updates that Nintendo usually does for their games, like, you know, the whole Pokemon X and Y update to fix Lumio City glitch, then it would not require that much space at all. But Smash Brothers requires two gigabytes to be free on the SD card before you do anything. That's a lot of space to request. The game is demanding that you know you cannot play this game unless you have two gigs free in the SD card which is a requirement that's pretty much not been seen in any 3DS game to date. Now this is one of those grains of salt pieces of information however but with Nintendo seemingly planning in advance to ensure that you have ample space to dedicate to this game I believe add-on content is very likely. So like once again you guys this is kind of a crazy ass this is kind of a crazy ass um, assumption to make, you know, oh, Nintendo, they need two gigabytes on the SD card in order to play Smash Brothers 3DS, then that must mean that there's DLC and somehow, that must mean that there's more characters, that must mean that there's Ridley. I'm not going necessarily that far with it, but I, I am a little bit curious as to why Nintendo requires this huge amount of space for a 3DS title in order to play the game in the first place. They want that space dedicated, but what is it for? Nothing's filling it right now. It's very interesting. It's it, it's pulling my curiosity, man. So, um, edit. If someone has information on the SD card related message that appears when the game launches, this could also shed some more light on this and potentially invalidate a portion of my logic. A user on GBA Temp says that the message talked about trophies, so I guess that could potentially mean that you know that space is just going to be used for trophies. But the problem with that is that I'm not sure what trophies would have to do with the SD card to such a large extent. Like, would trophies need two gigabytes of data? 
Like two gigabytes of data? For further information about this SD card related crash, see my post in the comments. If the post isn't there, it's because the links were too piracy driven to be useful as a news source. So we're actually going to follow up on this. Now, let's read a few of these comments to see what Reddit in general, the smash boards of Reddit, are thinking about this entire thing. So right now we are looking at a variable, a variable, but we have no control. What we need is for people to examine the relative sizes of ROMs on the 3DS games that would never get DLC, like Ocarina of Time, Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, as long as 3DS games that have DLC like Fire Emblem and see what's actually going on with the size of these games. So it's just basically a comparative argument. Okay, so if um, Pokemon, excuse me, if Smash Brothers 3DS is going to have DLC, then let's examine how big of a game size it is compared to games that don't. And if there's an inconsistency, then it helps the argument of the fact that there could be DLC for it. And um, to be honest, this could be pretty damning. Why the heck would Nintendo want you to have a whole gigabyte extra, much less more, if they're going to do balance patches? I'm pretty sure most patches altogether would only take like a half of a quarter of that. It's crazy. Um, let's see some more. Not to mention they already released a patch on the Japanese version. I have full faith Nintendo's got something up their sleeves for the Wii U release. There's no way they have thrown out every single character. Man, you don't know how happy it made me to read that post. The Ridley deconfirm um, deconfirmation, de excuse me, that definitely hurt a bit. But, you know, I don't know, guys. I want to believe. You know I want to believe more than anybody. I, I, I seriously would love to have Ridley in the game, Mewtwo, and a lot of other great characters as well. I mean, even though I love the current game as it is, and the, I think the roster is great, it does feel somewhat empty because there were so many casualties along with the newcomers. I mean, Wolf and Lucas and Ice Climbers gone? It hurts, man. It, it definitely hurts to see guys like that gone, even though I never really played with them too much. The fact that we're losing characters that people mained, that were actually really nice characters that people relied upon, it's kind of sad, and it makes you feel like, you know, where's this roster going? It doesn't feel that complete. And the fact that they incorporated Dr. Mario, though, to me, he seems like the most out-of-place person to be in this game out of everybody, even Dark Pit, because Dr. Mario comes from the same game that Mewtwo debuted in, and the request for Mewtwo has been out out of the roof but why not bring him back but bring back dr mario as much as i want to say it's logic to think that you need to bring back mewtwo over dr mario daddy sakurai you can't predict what he's gonna do he could very well be crazy and just say you know what i wanted to bring mewtwo back so fuck it i'm gonna bring i mean excuse me i wanted to bring dr mario back i don't care about mewtwo dr mario's back it's 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 mind-boggling to think that he could have logic like that but it may just be the case I'm tired of reading into messages, I'm tired of decrypting things from information that's so vague and cloudy. It just, as much as I really want to ride this, I have to see some solid evidence to believe anymore, man. I, I want to believe, I really do, but guys, I'm tired. I'm so tired right now. I just, after that stream and just having everything fall in on me, and I was sick too, I had the flu, I still have the flu a little bit, I don't know, man, it just really... It really is kind of, is this mic on? Yeah, it's on, sorry. It, it, it just really kind of puts me in a crazy position to feel like, you know, there's still some kind of hope, I guess. There is, but I don't know. Um, what, what do you guys think of this whole thing, though? You gotta let me know. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep hope alive, guys. I really am, but at this point, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, Ridley, you know I love you, man. You know I want you in. If this is your chance, of course I'm not going to sleep on it, but Daddy Sakurai, <laughs> you can't predict him. You can't. He brought back Dr. Mario, dog. Dr. Mario? Oh, man. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. We'll, eventually it'll be revealed, right? We'll know for a fact sooner or later, but it is a fact currently that the 3DS version of Smash Brothers requires an obscene amount of space on the memory card in order to function. That is odd and that's the only fact that we know about this anyways guys um i wanted to update you on a few other things as well too now um if you guys have noticed i have a very sexual chair behind me this is a dx racer um and this is a chair that was ordered for me by an amazing subscriber who loved my content who liked my videos and who he hit me up and was just randomly like yo etika i know you're suffering man i'm gonna buy you a chair and oh my god man this has got to be the most beautiful fucking gift. I mean, I remember, you guys remember when 
You guys remember when those guys, um, I had those subscribers who sent me the Xbox and the PS4 and all that other gear, and that was amazing, but, man, this guy bought me this fucking chair, man. I just, oh, man, I can't believe it. It's fucking crazy. Someone was willing to spend that much, but this chair is expensive, man. I mean, it's a DX racer, and it's the King series. It's their pretty much top-end brand, made for the tallest and biggest people, and I'm really tall, so, you know, this is the only chair that would have worked for me, and he said, you know what, I'm going to buy it for you. Um, I don't know if he wants me to mention him or not. Um, I'll keep his privacy for now, but wow, man. And he didn't even ask me, you know, oh, he didn't ask for anything. He just said, you know, dude, I want to see you do well. I want to see you move forward with this. Man, this is fucking beautiful, man. It, it brings, it really, it really fucking brings me, it brings me somewhere, man. Because to, to do something like that, to, to, to help someone out on fucking, on fucking YouTube who's trying, man, I just don't know how to feel, man. I, thank you, man. Thank you so much. It was, it was an amazingly beautiful gesture. And, you know, I don't believe in God myself. It's just my preference. But it's stuff like this that makes you wonder if there really is one, you know, because... Wow, to, to be that kind for someone you don't even know, man, it's fucking touching, man. It's fucking touching. It really is. Man, oh my god, man. But yeah, so from now on, no more back problems. This chair is incredible, as you can see. It has this pillow up here. It, uh, let, me, let me show you around the chair a little bit more, actually. I want you guys to see exactly what. But yeah, I wanted to show you some more of this chair. Um, so this is it, the DX Racer. It's an amazing chair. It really is comfortable because it has this cushion on the bottom. I think it's called the lumbar cushion. And it basically means that your, your posture will always be, um, your posture will always be straight in the chair no matter what. Um, it's a really good chair, man. It's, it's, it's amazing, it, it's really is. So I, I definitely don't have to worry about back issues anymore. Definitely not. Oh my gosh, this, the fact that someone was able to go out of their way like that, my god, man. The support that I've gotten for this YouTube thing ever since I started, man, I, I, I don't even know how to, I, I don't even know, man, I just don't know how to explain this, but, yeah, um, the, the amazing thing about this chair, the really cool thing about this chair is the fact that it has this incredible customization when sitting down in it. So for example, it can go really high like, like this. So you know, that's really fucking high. Um, but the best part about it though is definitely the, um, the ability to lean back in it. So watch this, watch this. Yeah, it goes back that far. That fucking far. Can you believe that shit? Can you believe that shit? That was it locking into place. Don't worry, I didn't break it. It just locks really hard. It's a very high-end chair. I gotta show you this. I gotta show you this part. Look at this. Look at this damn thing. It's leaning. It's leaning. Look, it's, le it's fucking leaning. Look at this. It's flat. That's a pancake right there. You can sleep in this thing. I was, I actually napped in it a little bit earlier. This thing is comfortable. The fucking pillow, man. Oh, man. You can have sex with your girlfriend in this damn thing, man. It's amazing. It's an amazing chair. The Top N K Series from DX Racer. This chair is as good as you're going to get if you come to ergonomics for tall people. Um, this chair, the reason why, also another reason why um, I had this one as my list of preference is the fact that this chair, they specifically say it's designed for super long sitting sessions. And since, of course, you guys know I, I'm a full-time YouTuber, thanks to you guys supporting me and whatnot, I'm able to make my income, as small as it may be, off of you dudes. But uh, this goddamn chair, it, oh shit, it's, <laughs> oh man, but don't worry, it doesn't fall though. It's really actually pretty damn sturdy. Yeah, crazy. But, um, <laughs> oh boy, I lost my chain of thought, man. I, once I leaned back in that bitch, I, whoa. <laughs> oh boy, and, and another cool thing, you can lean back, right? You can lean back, and now you say, oh, I want to stay in this position. Lock it, and it stays there. So you can literally just chill here all day like this. And especially if you throw the damn chair back, if you throw the seat back, 
Like, so right now, the seat is really leaned in, so this is really comfortable, as you guys can see, and stuck here. No squeaking, no nothing. This chair is really high-end, and on top of everything else, if I um, decide that I want to lean back, even with the seat depth put in like this, I can do that shit. Look at this shit. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is really fucking comfortable. Like I said, you can have sex with your girl in here. Okay, anyways. Oh man, I'm going I'm going into a whole other tangent with this video. Uh, okay, so, guys. Um, now, also, I wanted to talk about some other things as well, too. And uh, it's going to be about live streaming. Now, if you guys have been missing out on the live streams that I've been doing, don't worry. Twitch is going to be the next option for me, definitely. I want to make sure that I got my audio equipment. And guess what? I got my audio equipment. I got a Zoom H1, which is a really high-end um, sound recorder, which can be used as a USB mic. And I also have uh, a brand new lavalier system, which is really good. I mean, this lavalier, I've gotten a really high reviews on it, so or I've seen high reviews on it. Also got a little um, cell phone stand charger thing. So, you know, I'm doing stuff to help to make their live streaming smooth as it can be. So, I think everything's gonna work out with that. Uh, let me see, I'm just gonna open this up on camera, just have it. There we go, my new Zoom H1, yay. So yeah, it's like a little white voice recorder. It's really convenient, really cool. This will help out with audio, with live streaming, because my audio always sucked. But yeah, so that being out the way, um, don't worry, the live streams are gonna get a lot better. And um, pretty soon, they'll be on Twitch as well, too. So hold your horses for that. But yeah, we pretty much talked about everything today. Um, so guys, once again, even though I know the video went a little bit off topic, let me know what you think about the whole Ridley thing uh, and the whole DLC thing. Potential for DLC in this game right now. I don't know. I need to see more opinions about it. My opinion is probably going to stay where it is right now, though. So um, hey, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.